Welcome back guys to the beautiful Taffington Boathouse where today we're going to build something a little different. As some of you guys may be aware, the water purifiers can produce a reasonable amount of income. Now I chose Taffington Boathouse because uh, it seemed like a good place to build a purification plant. It has a good volume of fresh water around the side and the thing I love about Taffington Boathouse is you know, it's pretty well intact. So the plan is to build a good perimeter, some defences and a purification pool. Now, if you haven't found Taffington Boathouse, it's located right here on the map. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to just build ourselves a perimeter to kind of lock this place down a bit. So I found that uh, the level of the shed right here turned out to be a pretty good level to run a perimeter right around. So we'll just uh, build some fences right here up until around this rock line and then we'll put a floor and roof in so we can build a corner and then we're going to do the same thing all the way across. Now don't worry about doors or anything just yet, we'll fix that up after. Uh, so you will find that the floor will get a little unlevel so you're just going to have to force it in just a little bit and uh, once, we, once we get this one in and maybe, maybe one more, yeah that should be about right there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same kind of thing here, uh, only just a little bit different. So we're going to start from the other side, uh, yep. and then this is, will allow us to put some concrete floors in, because um, we're going to build a little concrete enclosure just here. Uh, you can run fences around if you want to, uh, it's completely up to you. Now we're going to build this uh, concrete wall pretty much in line with the back side of the house. So what we're going to need to do is we'll just build this back a little bit. Um, these are going to be kind of like some little purification pools. We're going to have our purifiers sort of uh, between them or parallel, if you will. And we'll just put some floors in here just so we can get across. Uh, we're going to build this out just a few more. And that looks to be about right there. So, what we're going to have now is a gap of two spaces between each concrete floor. This is going to allow a uh, kind of spacing between each purification, uh, water purifier. And that worked out pretty good because I've come pretty flush against the uh, base of the house. So we'll stick our last one in here. And this should line up pretty well too. Yep. Okay, and then we're just going to finish off our concrete wall now. And you can make this higher or like I said, you can put fences in, it's completely up to you. I just think the concrete looks, you know, just a little bit better up against the water purifiers. So we'll just stick one more in here, should get us pretty level, and then we'll put a doorway in. So I'm just going to go in line with the actual doorway of the house, that doesn't look too bad. And we'll just chuck a, uh, a door in here, or a door frame at least, and just put a couple of floors in because I'm thinking of sort of just putting a little entranceway at the start there. Uh, finish off your... Uh, perimeter by just making sure all sides have been finished and what you notice now is we have this kind of rock that gives a kind of a little bit of an entrance into our perimeter and we don't want that so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do the same sort of thing as earlier and we're going to put some concrete walls in here and uh, we're going to build just a couple of little defense towers and now we're not going to build uh, my sort of normal design of my defense towers. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of my recent videos, but you'd see, especially on my uh, Spectacle Island Fortress, um, you know, those defense towers can be quite tricky and quite resourceful. So we're just going to go with something really simple here and just build some kind of square top uh, towers with a few um, railings around the side. Another thing also is we may actually just bring this little farm area out a little bit. So I'm just going to take them out and uh, might just put them away and we'll put them back in. So put a door in the front here and then just one more around the side and that just gives us a little extra space to build some sort of farming area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start putting our purification plants in and I'm going to go with the industrials and I'm going to put maybe four of these in because these are your money tickets right here uh, these produce quite a few purified waters so we're gonna put as many as we can in here and uh, I don't think we're gonna fit much more than four so we'll just stick the four in stick two more here 
and you just kind of fit them in wherever you can. The floor is not exactly super level, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick two more, or maybe three, smaller, just, just normal water purifiers. Only because the water, normal water purifiers are much smaller and you know, if I was to put industrial purifiers in here, they would probably sit higher than the house. Well, it's a bit untidy, so it's up to you. You can put whatever you want in. Uh, let's go do a bit of detailing and we'll take that out and we'll just put another little block in here uh, just to close that gap. And we'll stick some uh, small flooring in here. We just build ourselves a little kind of entranceway here, so we'll put some rails around. Because we're going to put a couple of little turret platforms in here just to kind of secure the main entrance. So now let's just go ahead and put a, another tower in on the other side. And so this is done the exact same way as we did it on the other side, um, except for the fact that it's, it's just backwards. Okay, so now let's go do a little bit of electrical work on the uh, water purifiers. And I've just done this by putting some platforms in. Uh, try and kind of center it uh, between each, uh, especially the industrial purifiers because what we're going to do is just put a few pylons in here and uh, on each side so we can just run the wire straight through because I, I'm, I have plans for the other side where I'm going to build a little sort of electrical shed, uh, you know, or like power shed if you will. So the plan here is to pretty much just build a power line that runs straight through and then what we're going to do is we're going to connect all of our water purifiers to each corresponding power uh, power pylon and what that's going to do is just allow us to neaten the wires up a little bit not have them running sort of everywhere and it's another reason why I've laid the water purifiers out um, kind of you know all around the same sort of height so we can just keep everything a little bit neat and tidy and um, and it's just a bit more practical. So go around and uh, just make sure all water purifiers have been connected to um, at least one of the pylons, okay? Because we're gonna connect uh, one more pylon to this after which is going to be connected to a whole heap of generators. So first things first, and just ignore the shed back there that just magically appeared. Um, we're actually gonna build something different a bit later on. So. What we're gonna do is just stick a couple of, uh, or just stick a guard post on each defense tower, and then we're just gonna run some rails around the outside just to neaten it up a little bit. And that's pretty much gonna be the end result. We're not gonna do anything fancy here. We may just stick a couple of turrets, um, and yeah, we'll just see how we go. Just put some railing around the outside right here, and we're just gonna go all the way around. Just leave a little space to get up and then we just, you know, just want to basically do it on the other side as well. So, do the same thing, just mimicking it. Um, and you should end up with uh, something like that. Back to our purifier pools. Um, we're just going to put a little walkway in. Uh, it's around here somewhere. And we're just going to run that straight across. Um, just for, just in case, if you have any need to walk around here and uh, you know move wires around or whatever the case might be, so put some rails in, and I'm not real sure about these ones. Um, yeah, we might uh, just take them out and put some different ones in. So we use my uh, usual favorite that I use in most of my videos and we'll just put these in because it's just, no, it's a little bit, a little bit more tidier. Okay, and uh, now we're just going back to the entrance and I'm going to put my little turret platforms in. So this is just done with the small stairs and just one little small floor block. Um, I'm going to go with laser turrets and I will wire these up later. Um, I don't need to show you guys how to do that. Um, put a few more decorations in. Um, just so we can see what we're looking for at this in this entrance. So um, another thing now is we're gonna actually do something with the busted up roof up top. Um, and I don't. I, th I thought about building like a whole room or something like that. And I thought, um, kind of. I don't really want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is 
just gonna put some floors in up here, and you do that by just putting um, just putting stairs in, and then running your floors off your stairs. Um, uh, as you see earlier, I elevated mine by putting um, putting floors in underneath the stairs. Um, and we just put some railings in here and just put a guard post in here because I, I figure I might just put a sniper up here. You know, it's up nice and high. Um, you know, it's got kind of a good view there to take things out from a distance. So, um, take the stairs out and we're just going to run one floor around this side. And I mean, look, this isn't my best design, obviously. Um, and there's just not a lot you can do with this place or this, uh, this roof up here. So. Um, and we're not going to get a, we're not going to snap the stairs here, so we're just going to get as close as we can to the wall. Um, and that's not too bad. And we'll just stick a couple more railings in, just to finish it off. So, yeah, that should do it. Little, you know, kind of sniper nest up the top here. Um, so put a guard post in, because you can't really have someone guard something without a guard post. And that's not too bad. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to build this electrical shed. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's a, this is a bit of a pain. So you can build this however you want. Um, there's a lot of forcing stuff in and stuff like that. So I just start off with the uh, floor and roof prefab here and just try and square it up as uh, centered as you can. And what we're going to do is we're going to build the shed above the uh, the floor that it's on at the moment. And it's pretty much just going to go like that the whole way along. So we stick some floors in here because we can just put uh, walls in after. So where it's going to get a little bit tricky here. We'll put this door in first. Um, and just try and lift that up to the second floor. That's not too bad. So... Now just put some uh, just put some walls along the side here. Um, get a get a little bit of shape going. And now what I had to do here was actually take the uh, fence out first, and then put it in, and then go inside and flip it around. Okay, gives us kind of a straight roof the whole way along. And then we're just going to put the fences in. We're going to lift them all all back up. Um, only the ones that are in line with the shed, though. So. So it just looks a bit better. Um, and now we'll put one more fence in, and now we're going to start putting our generators in. So we fit these in as tight as possible. Um, I managed to fit two in there, and only one here. Um, you can put another one in, it's just going to be floating around and look a bit weird. Um, and then we'll just put some smaller generators in on the right side here. So you should be able to get a few of these in. Um, I think maybe six in total, depending on how you space them. Um, and then, of course, yeah, we're just going to go along and we're going to wire them all up, uh, each one to to the one next to it. And uh, don't forget about your big guys. Um, and then I think just put a conduit just up the top here, and then one on the opposite side. So we just run wi one wire along and uh, we can sort of connect all of them together. Um, and then simply just put a power pylon in here um, so we can kind of get around the corner here. And that not look too bad. Okay, so now we're gonna um, just put a few market stalls in. Um, and these are pretty basic and simple. Um, I do have <coughs> much better designs, but we're just gonna keep it simple for now. And uh, the main purpose of this is to basically, um, the way you're going to make money here is by making purified water and um, you're going to make a lot of it, especially with the amount of water purifiers we've got. So this just gives you a place to sell them. Um, you're just going to need a minimum three settlers or you could put more of these in. Um, and uh, that way you can just get rid of most of your, most of your purified waters um, as you collect them. Okay. Um, and like I said, this isn't really necessary, you don't have to do this, you can go sell all your stuff at Diamond City or wherever you like. Um, this is just a, just an idea of mine. Um, now I'm just going to move this fence over. Um, it's not very practical having it right next to the stairs. And I'm pretty happy with that. 
So there you go guys, and you know what this basically does is it just produces a solid income in the background of you know while you're journeying or questing or whatever you're doing in Fallout. Um, and you know, so every time you come back you may have a couple of hundred um, purified waters every time and to put it in perspective um, at 20 caps per purified water, um, 100 purified waters I work out to be around 2,000 caps, okay? Now, uh, depending on your um, bartering skills and perks and whatnot. So, I hope you guys like it, um, and please don't forget to leave a like if you did. Um, like always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.